today I'm fixing the jack shaft. It's not too hard. This just needs to go back into there. So what I'll do is I'll loosen up all the set screws on these parts and then just put it away, put the shaft back in and then move it and then tighten all the set screws again. As you can see the shaft is now out and I've taken it over here, breaking it down into its components and kind of cleaned them and you can kind of see how it all goes together. I have the shaft going in between those two bearings over there and then I have a little spacer and then this fits on it and is held in place by this little thing. It goes inside this groove and inside of this groove there ah shadows this groove it fits in there and that fits there so it there and then we have right after this is this little tiny gear just held in place by this little one inside there and inside there and then this spacer on the end to prevent the shaft from moving left and right. And then this is the one with the set screw on it. So this one thing in the middle of the setup tightens against this to prevent this from sliding back and forth. So that's how that goes. The belt connects to that from the engine to this big one. So it's got a lot of torque spinning around and it goes to this little tiny gear. So that's right on top of there, like that. So when this one is spinning from the outside, that little one has a whole lot of torque, which is why you can move these big tires and get this whole thing through like deep mud puddles and up giant hills, all because of this setup right here. So, Anyway, I'm going to put this back together, put it back in there, and then try and find some way to make sure that it doesn't come out again. I got the steering wheel off, and it was on there like that, and I had that spike in the middle. Kind of dangerous, so I'm going to cut that spike off, and then put the steering wheel back on with better bolts. Back on, and safer. I'm missing one bolt, but... Three is enough. Now I gotta clean everything. It's all mud. And I still need to, because when it broke, this bar bent a little bit. So now this whole thing is kind of loose. So I need to find a way to tighten these two, like squeeze them together somehow. There it is, all clean ready to go again and then hopefully it doesn't break next time that would be cool